Good morning, guys. Happy, happy day. <laughs> and happy day four of Corey Ray Fitness. Um, as you can see, I'm at the studio. Coach at 45 this morning. It is currently like five something. I don't even know. Um, so I had an early morning wake up call. <laughs> just me with my full tub of protein. Um, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to be bringing you guys through just a day in the life vlog, but focus on what I eat in a day. Um, typically what I eat whenever I'm, you know, going throughout a normal day. Um, so I've started, I used to not eat breakfast before or eat anything really before I would coach these early morning classes because I'm done by like 7.30 anyways. But I have realized that that is not, I don't thrive off of that anymore. Uh, I get really tired. I feel like it's not good for my hormones. And I've read something about how, um, actually I talked to one of the other coaches here about it and kind of looked into it myself and wanted to try it. That having like 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up is super good for you and i tried it one day game changer so this morning you saw i had a scoop of collagen powder in my coffee which i've been doing every morning it just helps me get something and some good protein in my system before you know like with the caffeine so it's not as like much of a crash later on i guess and then when i get here i have a protein shake so i just mix this with water this one is my absolute favorite i always go back and forth between this one snickerdoodle and salty caramel which is my favorite but honestly i think this one takes the cake so good it's the only protein i like mixed with just water it tastes exactly like these little ice cream bars on the front the strawberry shortcake ones and then i also have a banana with it just have some good carb and then obviously that's not my breakfast so after i coach i go home and have like an actual breakfast with like eggs and toast and all that good stuff but i have found that this has done wonders for my energy levels all right so i'm just gonna fill this up with water and then one scoop of protein and what i love about a lot of one-up proteins especially this one um it has like little chunks of strawberry in it i don't know i like to crunch on stuff when i have my protein shake so i can't i don't know if you can really tell in the video but there's like little crunchy bits of like strawberry i think it's freeze-dried strawberry so good also love this bottle i have all of these linked on my amazon storefront they're called helimix bottle uh, basically as you can tell i don't have one of those like annoying little metal balls in it um, and the way that the cup is made it helps you like mix it without having to use one there's no clumps or anything oh so good i'm just going to enjoy this finish up opening up the studio i've pretty much done everything i just have to empty out the humidifiers open up the doors and get the party started i'm coaching three classes this morning normally i only do two but i'm covering for someone so i'm doing 5 30 6 30 and the nine let's get it <laughs> Hello again. Don't mind the Christmas tree box. We don't have any storage. I need to get a storage unit or I don't know. I'm going to bring all this. Oh, I've got the hiccups. I think I'm going to bring a bunch of our like decor stuff to my parents. Oh my God. Pause. Drinking water upside down always helps. Hiccup. Hiccups are finally gone. <laughs> um but like i was saying i actually got to take class this morning so that was nice got my workout done and out of the way i do have to go back at i have to be there at 8 30 um to coach one more class for the day so i just got home i'm gonna eat a little real breakfast refuel after that workout and i'm gonna show you guys what what i'm gonna eat i just scheduled a chiropractor appointment for today after i coach because my lower back is really bothering me it's been bothering me for the past like week or so so i missed my appointment last week so i need to go in and see my chiropractor because my back is screaming at me and my neck too it's like causing a headache so i love my chiropractor people um they have literally cured my headaches so if you are local and you're looking like you're dealing with some pain back pain or any like digestion issues i definitely recommend twin city health they are phenomenal best chiropractor i've ever been to i love them so let's go in and get something to eat
night bestie so i just got done with coaching and i'm about to head in the chiropractor i'm running a little late though so i need to go in and get adjusted and i'm so excited for my back to start feeling better <laughs> got done at the chiropractor i didn't film in there because there was kind of a lot of people in there today and i didn't want to get some people on my camera um but i'm definitely feeling better she said that my lower like one of my lower vertebrae was like twisted a little bit and that was why i probably was in a lot of pain so she fixed that she said to keep it take it easy the next couple days just so that can kind of like heal and feel better um definitely feeling better right now i think i had a lot of tension and stuff too in my upper spine which could have maybe caused i don't know i'm not a chiropractor but definitely feeling better and i love going to the chiropractor it's such good such a good vibe in there <laughs> um but yeah now i'm about to head home rest a little bit and then get along with my day after a chiropractor change of plans i went to marshall's uh, I was going to go see if they had a blender because we don't have our old blender. It was like the Ninja one. It had little individual cups, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that one, unfortunately, has been retired. So, we, I'm looking for a new one. We have one, but it's only one that has like the full blender cup thing, you know what I'm saying? Like the big one. And that one's just kind of hard to use. You have to clean it every time. And we have like four smoothies a day. Like, I normally have one or two, and then Jack always has two. Um, so I was looking for like a Ninja Bullet or something. Um, I remember seeing one there before, but they unfortunately did not have any. So I ended up getting our niece some of her birthday present. She's going to be two this year and I'm so excited. And by the time this video is up, it'll already be past her birthday party. So I'm going to show you guys what I got her. So cute. So I always, I love getting her little outfits. So I got her this little set. It's Jessica Simpson. How bougie. Um, this little sweater with the matching leggings. And then I got her a little doll. Look how cute. It's like organic, I don't know, made out of organic materials. And she loves little dollies. Um, and then I also, look how freaking cute that is. I love having a niece. I love picking out her little outfits and toys. It's just so fun. Um, so I got her that as well. And then I'm going to bring Jack with me another day to like another store because he likes to pick out like toys and stuff for her too so we'll add another toy to that uh just for her birthday and i'm so excited i also got some new or some christmas wrapping paper uh, because we haven't gotten any yet and i know that i'm gonna start buying christmas gifts soon so now let's head inside all right so i'm home now and i forgot to take my green i forgot to take my greens this morning so i'm just gonna have it uh these are from one up i just put them in like a little container this is the berry flavor i believe but i also i've been really liking the pineapple coconut flavor as well if you like pina colada that's exactly what this one tastes like um this one's mixed berry i like this one a lot too and i'm gonna try to finish it so i can put that one in here um basically this is just like what i use for my probiotic supplement um so it has probiotics prebiotics digestive enzymes and also a red and green blend in there too so it's really great for your immune system and just kind of filling in gaps where you need it so i'm just gonna mix this up and if you guys ever want to try them i do have a code it gets you 20 percent off and if you do get them, I recommend getting one of these milk frother things because it just helps mix it up so much better. Uh, you can do it with like a little mixer cup too, but I like to drink it out of like aesthetic cute little glasses. So I have the, this milk frother. I think this is the best one linked on my Amazon as well. So it's been a little bit, I just showered. That's literally all I've done. And I'm making lunch now. So I have some ground beef on the stove. And then I also have some asparagus and peppers. And I also made some protein pasta. And I want to make like a good yummy sauce to pour over everything. So we're winging it. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. So we're just, we're just gonna see, we'll see, okay? All right, so I just have this on the hot burner. I'm gonna add like one tablespoon of minced garlic to the pot along with like two of these size slices of butter. I love carry gold butter. It's up until the butter melts. Like I said, we're winging it over here, okay? I have no idea if this will be good or not, but anything with butter and garlic is good in my book. Now, I'm going to add some organic milk, then I'm gonna add some onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper, 
Himalayan salt. I'm going to sprinkle in some organic flour just to thicken it up and make it more like a sauce. This would be better with heavy cream if you had it, uh, but I do not have heavy cream until it gets more like a sauce instead of like a soup. I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder to it. This is how I cook. <laughs> no real measurements. I just kind of eyeball everything. I'm sure you can find this exact recipe online if you're a measurement person, but I just kind of wing it. Okay, and it always turns out pretty good. So this is basically just an Alfredo sauce. All right, so now that I made my sauce, I'm just going to add the pasta that I cooked directly into. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Let me bring you guys over here. Oh my gosh, I feel so domestic. I have some grated Parmesan that I'm just going to add in. Easy peasy homemade Alfredo sauce. You can control what ingredients go into it. So you're not getting all the extra junk in a lot of, you know, like the store-bought Alfredo sauces. All right, I'm gonna do a little taste test of my Alfredo pasta, because I'm very proud of myself. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like real Alfredo sauce, so. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I think next time I'll add less flour. I think I overdid it with the flour because I was afraid it wasn't going to be thick enough. Um, but overall, mm, I saw this girl that I follow. She posted this on one of her YouTube videos and it was like, I, she said like, oh, I got a comment the other day saying like, oh, I wish I could like eat like you do on your videos and not have to watch something. And she was like, that's where social media will trick you because as soon as I get a clip of me eating, I get my iPad out and I'm watching a show. And I felt that in my soul because like I can't just sit and eat and like look around. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to watch something. <laughs> it's probably not the best habit, uh, but I've always done that. And it's just like my time to chill, watch my shows or like watch my vlogs that I like to watch, like catch up on my people that I like to watch and eat my food. Like I'm not just gonna sit here and look at my food or look at the wall in front of me and eat like no let me know if you guys are the same down below because i am to my to my core an ipad kid time to watch my shows guys so it's a little bit later uh we are about to go get dinner somewhere because if you guys know i love survivor and tonight's survivor night so we like to like normally get dinner out while we watch it just you know make it special um we haven't decided where we're going yet so i'll let you guys know once we decide um but i'm hungry so let's go get some dinner all right i want to give you guys three seconds to guess what we got for dinner i bet you'll never be able to guess one two three kava um i just love kava it's our go-to because it's like the healthiest option around us i just got a grains bowl and now we're about to watch survivor it's on now so we had to like rush home to get it on and I'm so excited to eat this and watch our show.